today I'm going to be showing you how to get and use the scriptware executor and also I'm going to be hiding one free license in the video. Enjoy. As you guys can see here I am on the scriptware website and on the top left you can see the two versions. So there's the normal scriptware and the scriptware M which is for the Mac and if you're here you probably are a subscriber or you're looking for a Mac executor so Hello, I'm also going to be hiding a free scriptware key somewhere in this video. So all you guys have to do is watch it through and find it. And the first one that does will get a free scriptware license and you guys can get the executor for free. And you know, you guys can see all the features right here. You know, you can scroll down, check everything out. And I already have it downloaded. So let me start the setup. All right, here is the installer so all you do is open it and after it asks you if you want to allow it you click yes of course and then it opens this really cool you know installer you click dive in and you just go through this stuff it says your their terms of service you accept it next you click where you want to install it next and then after that you just wait and it downloads it and after it's done it's gonna open this up which is the startup screen and as you guys can see behind it a little you can see all the files that have been downloaded and let me let it load up and just like that it's done downloading and right behind it as you guys can see here is the executor and you guys sign in or you know get an account and after you've logged in it's gonna open up the executor and now you guys can see the friend menu here so if you have anybody else that uses scriptware, you can add them right here. You, you know, search them up, you click add and you guys can share scripts, stuff like that. It's a pretty cool thing. But anyways, let me show you some of the features. So here we are on the executor section where you guys paste the scripts, pretty simple, you know, control paste and you get your scripts in here. You also have the execute button, you know, the clear so you can remove it. You guys can open you know files which are like txts or lua's you can open them into here you can also save files into the script menu on the right right here just like synapse just like kernel just like all executors pretty much you also have a closed roblox button in case it like freezes or something like that pretty cool you can also save scripts to scriptware and lastly you got magic hacks and you can also extend this if you guys don't want to see the little quick list of scripts and what you guys can do for example is let's say we want to find some arsenal hacks okay so we put in arsenal and we can go to featured and you guys can see all the featured scripts right here for arsenal or literally anything else so we, we want a fly script we can find a fly script okay the featured has only a few listed scripts which are the the main scripts but what you guys can do is go to global and you can see a bunch of scripts that other people list as you can see, there are plenty. These are just fly scripts. So, you know, there are tons of scripts you guys can find the idea. Okay, let's move on to the settings. So you guys can decompile scripts here. You can remove player characters. You can show your saving status. You can ignore default properties. And honestly, these, I mean, you only will use this if you're trying to, you know, save a game. But I mean, here are some other way you're going to save them and the file name super useful if you do use this but if you don't then it's not really useful uh we can also move on to the settings now so you guys can change all the settings for the executor so you can turn on a fps unlocker you can set an fps cap so that's pretty cool you know if you don't want to go too high but you want to you know go above 60 frames you can also make it top most so it doesn't like go under other apps like synapses usually on default you guys can also show which page it launches onto the attach button you know there's some also customization options like where you want to put stuff if you want to have stuff open lots of settings as you can tell <laughs> you also have some execution settings you know safe mode errors whatever you want and we also got some other settings like the old interface you guys can also see the output right here if you click on this little button and now you can see that but most people will not use that and anyways let's load into a game all right guys so here we are in the game let's inject our executor and the way you do that is you just click execute and if you guys did have a script pasted in the execution section then it would 
instantly, you know, inject and execute the script. So that's pretty cool. But we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be going into the script hub and using Solaris, okay? So let's load it up. And now all we got to do is turn on some features. Here we are. And okay, okay, hello. Okay, let's let's kill some people. Oh, okay, do not clip that. Oh, what? Okay, I I don't know how I just died there. <laughs> uh, but anyways, here we are in that game finally. And let's actually, you know, actually get some people. I should probably turn on wall bang so I can shoot people through the wall. I think that would make it much better, honestly. And let's also turn on rapid fire because why not? Okay, we have infinite ammo. Let's use all the ammo. Okay. And I don't know, I don't think the uh, wall bang is working right now, but obviously the rest works just fine, as you can see. Uh, it might be patched, so that kind of sucks, but I'm sure they'll update it soon enough. Okay, there you go, now the wall bang's working. I don't know why it wasn't working a second ago, but anyways, as you guys can see, I am shooting so many people that, that my game is like lagging. I'm just shooting so many bullets. But anyways, as you guys can tell, it works just fine, you know, and it's pretty overpowered, you know, especially Solaris, thank you, pretty good. <laughs> this rapid fire and like headshots only is pretty crazy. There you go, there's this executor guys, and if you guys have found the key, and if you have found the key, I don't know who found the key, but if you're the one that found it and you're watching right now, congrats I guess but hopefully you guys you know enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below remember we are trying to hit 125k and we are getting so close we're so close right now we're like 1k away or a few hundred so help me get to that goal guys and we're gonna be doing 13 synapse x keys as a giveaway and one key for my members and all my members are right here They're helping me do these giveaways and of course supporting the channel overall let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to do these like you don't know secret like keys in the video uh let me know down in the comments like i said and maybe i'll do it if you guys like it enough but if y'all don't obviously i won't let's finish out this game with our epic skills as you can tell with our chair <laughs> and okay what, what is going on here let's just let's get on with this we're probably gonna turn on some walk speed okay for the most efficiency <laughs> because we're kind of slow right now uh there you go okay let's get these guys oh i don't know how i just knifed that person but i did let's see if i can like knife this guy up oh i did <laughs> did you guys see that i just knifed him okay uh i didn't even know you can knife people like that but you know solaris is pretty overpowered all right there you go i turn on some bunny hop for more speed you guys know you know how it goes oh oh we just found a huge oh my god i almost died that was that was i have five health that would that would have not been good if i just died to a legit person but anyways as you guys could tell this is pretty good works just fine oh what's that guy dancing i i just killed a dancing person i kind of feel bad now but it is what it is guys we got to get the win okay oh i see you don't you think you're gonna run away from me i'm gonna try to know oh, okay my teammate got them our team is not winning because no one is like in the game everybody left uh I'm, that's probably because of me honestly but you know what what can we do all right We're, we gotta win okay we gotta grind the money where are y'all at come on die okay i don't know why people are still in the game like honestly I would I would leave if if I was these guys because oh oh yikes that that was tough but there we go we won hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully I'll catch y'all in the next one see you guys.